In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NBA games happening on March 8, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best bet single picks, best bet parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Oklahoma City Thunder vs. Phoenix Suns A pair of Western Conference teams riding three-game winning streaks will square off on Wednesday night when Oklahoma City travels to Phoenix. The Thunder lost five straight games after returning from the All-Star break, but they responded with a three-game winning streak. Phoenix wrapped up its four-game road trip with a win at Dallas on Sunday. The Oklahoma City Thunder have been heating up again as they are now aiming for a fourth straight victory after taking down the Warriors in a 137-128 home win last night. Shai Gilgis Alexander led the team with 33 points and six assists on 14 of 24 shooting. Lugin Stewart added 18 points while Josh Giddy racked up a triple-double of 17 points with 11 rebounds and 17 assists. As a team, the Thunder shot 53% from the field and 17 of 37 from the three-point line as they set the tone with 40 points in the first quarter to take the early lead and they just never took their foot off the gas as they poured in 69 points in the second half to pull off the impressive victory. Meanwhile, the Phoenix Suns have been in fine form as they've won nine of their last 12 games overall and they will be gunning for a fourth straight victory after sneaking past the Mavericks in a 130-126 road win on Sunday. Kevin Durant led the team with 37 points, seven rebounds, and three assists on 12 of 17 shooting, Devin Booker added 36 points with 10 assists, while Chris Paul chipped in with 11 points and 7 assists. As a team, the Suns shot 55% from the field and 12 of 34 from the three-point line as they allowed 37 points in the second quarter to fall behind going into halftime before they exploded for 71 points in the second half to escape with the gritty win. The Thunder are 44-21-3 against the spread in their last 68 road games. The Suns are 4-0-1 against the spread in their last five games overall and 2-5 against the spread in their last seven games games playing on two days rest. The over is 5-0-1 to zero to one in Thunder last six overall. The over is 4-1 to one in Suns last five home games. The Thunder are 9-4-1 to four to one against the spread in the last 14 meetings. The over is 5-2 to two in the last seven meetings. The Thunder are shorthanded again as Jalen Williams and Shai Gilgis Alexander are both listed as out, while the Suns are still missing Landry Shamit. The Oklahoma City Thunder are on the end of a back-to-back -back and the Suns are rolling with Durant and others. I get it. However, this is a massive line for an Oklahoma City team that's been road covering Warriors dating back to last season and loses in the underdog role by an average of just one point. The Thunder are also 6-0 against the spread as double-digit underdogs this season. The Thunder thrive in this role, with the latest evidence being their upset win against Golden State on Tuesday. They have been red-hot against the spread throughout the season, going 39-24-1 overall and 19-10-1 in their road games. Oklahoma City is also nearly .500 straight up as an underdog this season, so I certainly do not want to fade them as a double-digit dog. I understand why the metrics love Phoenix right now following the addition of Durant, but I want no part of backing the Suns in this matchup, so the Oklahoma City Thunder to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The Thunder ranked third in the league behind the Warriors and Lakers in tempo, getting out in transition on a consistent basis. This has led to them going over the total at a 37-26-1 clip this season. Meanwhile, Phoenix added a ton of firepower to its lineup when Durant made his debut, as he joins one of the top scorers in the NBA in Booker. This is going to be one of the highest scoring games of the day in the NBA, as Oklahoma City loves to push the pace and Phoenix has a bevy of elite scoring options. Over the projected total is our full game total pick.
Toronto Raptors vs. Los Angeles Clippers The NBA betting action goes on Wednesday, March 8, 2023, with the Toronto Raptors taking on the Los Angeles Clippers in the cross-conference showdown at Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles, California. The Toronto Raptors have been in red-hot form as they've won nine of their last 13 games overall, but they will be hoping to bounce back here after getting stopped by the Nuggets in a 118-113 road loss on Monday. Fred Van Vliet led the team with 21 points and 14 assists. Pascal Siakam added 19 points while Jakob Poltel chipped in with 18 points, 9 rebounds and 4 assists. As a team, the Raptors shot 50% from the field and 10 of 27 from the 3-point line as they set the tone with 34 points in the first quarter to lead for a majority of the game, until the fourth quarter where the Nuggets exploded for 35 points to snatch the game from them in the end. Meanwhile, the Los Angeles Clippers have been in terrible form as they've lost seven of their last ten games and they were on a five-game losing streak before they snapped out of it with a 135-129 win over the Grizzlies on Sunday. Paul George led the team with 42 points, 11 rebounds and 3 assists. Kawhi Leonard added 34 points with 10 rebounds and 4 assists while Eric Gordon chipped in with 17 points on 6 of 7 shooting off the bench. As a team, the Clippers shot 52% from the field and 12 of 29 from the 3-point line as they looked to be in deep trouble when they allowed the Grizzlies to explode for 51 points in the third quarter to put them behind by 16 points, but they flipped a switch and dominated the fourth quarter by 38-17 to, to cap off one of the craziest games of the season. The Clippers are 1-5 against the spread in their last six home games and 1-5 to five against the spread in their last six games overall. The over is 13-5 to five in Raptors' last 18 road games. The over is 6-2 to two in Clippers' last eight overall. The Raptors are 6-2 to two against the spread in the last eight meetings in Los Angeles. The under is 16-5 to five in the last 21 meetings in Los Angeles and 6-2 to two in the last eight meetings. Norman Powell is out with a shoulder injury, but with both Paul George and Kawhi Leonard healthy and ready to go, the Clippers should outlast the Raptors Raptors on the home court. The Clippers finally broke out of their slump with that comeback victory over the Grizzlies, and I'm expecting them to stay on the right track. Toronto is struggling to defend the three-point line. The Raptors allow 12.7 triples per 100 possessions on a 37.7 percentage clip, and the Clippers are making 37.7% of their three-pointers. Los Angeles defense hasn't impressed either, but the Clippers own more offensive weapons than the Raptors. It's hard to back either of these teams with confidence, given the constant ups and downs. However, However, the Los Angeles Clippers have shown more signs of life lately and it feels like they're close to putting things together. The Toronto Raptors are in a bit of a defensive funk, and that's not ideal when going up against the firepower the Clippers have. We're not laying much, so the Los Angeles Clippers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. While the Clippers are shooting the rock from deep well, the Raptors are making just 33.6% of their three-pointers. The Clippers have struggled to defend over the last few weeks. They should be doing a much better job, and the clash against the Raptors seems like a nice opportunity to to make some improvements. The under is 6-2 in the last eight meetings between the Clippers and Raptors. Both Toronto and Los Angeles rank in the bottom 10 in pace, so I'm not expecting a proper high-scoring contest. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.